Welcome to our lecture online. A typical situation where shear stress comes into play is when a bolt holds two planks together or two boards together. Now in this particular case, we don't have anything holding the two planks together this way. We're simply keeping the planks from sliding over one another. So we can assume in this case that there's no friction between the boards or we can just ignore it. Now it turns out if we tighten two nuts on either side of the bolt so that the two planks are held together very tightly, then there's additional support in the form of the shear stress so that you reduce the stress on the bolt. Now we're not going to do that here. We're simply going to have a bolt sticking through two holes in the two planks. We're pulling on one side and holding the, the board on the other side. So we're simply pulling the plank in this direction. There's no friction for it between the two planks. And that force applied applies a shear stress on the bolt. Here you can see it a little bit better if we take a cross-sectional view like this. Notice that here's the board that's around the bolt right here that being pulled towards the right. And if we keep this plank into place, then we can see there's shear stress applied to the surface between these two bolts. So if we take this line right here to be this line right there, you can see then that somebody is holding this board in this direction, someone is pulling in this board in that direction, and we're applying a shear stress right here. Now since there's only a single bolt and there's only two planks right there, all the shear stress is associated with just this one cross-sectional area of the bolt. And so therefore the average shear stress is equal to the shear force divided by the cross-sectional area of the bolt, which is equal to the force applied divided by the cross-section of the bolt. But in other words, in this case, the amount of shear force on the bolt is exactly the same as the amount of force applied to the board. We can remedy that by having a different situation, by perhaps having three boards in such a way, and we're going to show that on the next example, and then we can reduce the shear stress on the bolt. But in a single shear stress situation, this is called a single shear, we just have two boards, a bolt going in between, and the cross-sectional air of the board is the only thing that resists the breakage of the board. But in other words, the shear stress is entirely situated on one single cross-section of the board. Therefore, that's called a single shear. Probably not the best way to secure that unless the bolt is really big. And that is how it's done.